Today, I'm going to show you how you can prepare presentable content before you have a webinar or a link conference call. So you're going to go over to your Outlook and find your link meeting in your calendar and open that invite up. And from here, click join meeting to start your link call. And you'll notice that I'm the only one on the phone because you will do this before your link meeting or before your webinar. Um, so I want to prepare my PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to come hover over the share button and click on PowerPoint. I'll navigate over to my PowerPoint and open that up. So this is going to prepare my presentation that I'm going to share for my meeting. From here, I know I'm going to want to have a couple polls readily available to share with my attendees. So again, I'm going to go down to the share icon, click on poll. So we'll make our first poll here. I'm just going to name this one test. And I'm click on create. And I think I'm going to have one more poll. So I'm going to go ahead and go again to the share button, click on poll. We'll name this one poll two. Click on create. So now I have all my presentation materials. And I can come down to my share icon and you'll see under presentable content. Here's my first poll and there's my PowerPoint. So if I want to go back to my PowerPoint, I can click on that and it, that's what's going to be shared with your participants and then from the second slide, maybe I'll start sharing my first poll. So I'll come back down to the share and under presentable content, click on the first poll. And then again, you can keep going back and forth and toggling between all your presentable content. Now, the nice thing about this is I can click on stop presenting. And I can actually hide my stage and go as far as ending this call. Now, if my webinar were to start later that day, I can come back to my invite, click on join meeting again, and you'll notice when I come over to the share button, all three of my presentable content items are automatically stored in here. And if you make a mistake or want to edit these, click on manage presentable content, and we can go in here, there's permissions, presenting now, more options, as well as removing if I wanted to completely remove these and start over for a different webinar. So this is how you prepare your content for a webinar or a link conference call.